Welcome to SNET. Today I'm going to show you how to build a computer. So the motherboard in front of you here, it's the ASUS Rampage 4 Extreme Motherboard. It's really good when you, when you overclock your computer. And I've run it for about a month now. And it's a really good motherboard actually. So let's start and uh, put in the CPU here. So, let's start. You have two tabs right here to open the hatch here. Like that. Like that. And then you just close the hatch here. And putting these levers down. You take this one down first or it won't work. So, next step, putting thermal paste on the CPU. I'm using the Arctic Silver 5, which I think is a really good thermal paste. So, now we have applied thermal paste, so the next step is inserting the RAM. These RAMs here are Corsair Vengeance 1600 MHz, which is good for a gaming computer. And you put it in this slot right here. Like that. Second slot the same color you just press it down so the tab latches in there and continuing with the same color here at least on this motherboard when you have a 4 channel RAM just click it down and uh, like that. So next step, you see we have brought up the case here. It is this part um, at the back here where the motherboard will connectors will uh, get out. And you just force it in into the hole here. So that's how you place that one. And the next step here is inserting these brass screws in where the motherboard is screwed into place. And this case comes with a handy tool where you put this in there and you have a Phillips screwdriver head on it. So well, let's begin. So now all these brass screws are screwed in here. So after my motherboard, and there's seven of them. And um, because I'm having water cooling, I have to remove this top fan here so I can fit my radiator up there with fans. So to do that, there is one tab up here, and one up here, and one there and three on the other side. So now we should begin with that. So now I already switched them open. Uh, fan here. And now I'm gonna ha have my friend here help me so I don't drop it into the chassis. Thank you. So now we have removed the big fan at the top. So now we should should mount the uh, water cool. 
So, first off, my friend is gonna help me hold these in, in place here. So, like that. And I'm bringing the radiator. can be a bit tricky to get it in there. That's the good part, having a friend helping you. So, now when we have mounted the uh, water cooling here, we should insert the motherboard. And don't forget to use... Um, there we have it. Like, um, ESD bracelet. Now look at so you have all the brass screws under here where you will put screws in there. Like that. Now when all the screws are tightened, it's time to put the heatsink on the CPU. So first we use these screws here. So just screw them in here. And now we'll take this one here. Then just use these screws. You do not tighten on one side of at the time, you have to do it like a, like a cross pattern. Or the heat sick will come on uneven. So now it's everything's tightened and it's time to put the, the graphics card in. So I have these two GTX 670s. So let's mount them. First one in. So when running multiple graphics cards, look in your uh, motherboard manual to see which slots you should put them in. In my case, it's the first one and the uh, fourth one to get the best performance. Good. 
There we go. Step one in. So now when the graphics card are mounted, it's time to put the power supply in. I'm using a thousand watts power supply. It'll be good enough for these graphics card here. So now I have um, sorted out the cables from the back side here to the controls on the top. So we should insert the HDD LED, reset switch, and power switch. And it's on this little panel down here where we do that. The reset is all the way to the right. Power switch. It's right next to it. And then HDD LED is the same as IDE LED, so it's at, at the far end. And if you want the in built-in speaker, which is very annoying, uh, it's mounted right here. But I'm not gonna mount that one. Next step, it's audio and USB for the top. Audio is sitting right here. Inside the connector there is one that's blocked off. And you see there's one blocked off down there. So it's going in there. And then you have two USB connectors right here. And you can just decide which one of them you want to put it in. So the thing I have done now is um, sorting all the cables going into the case through this hole here. So you have all the cables from the back. But you don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's just me who likes it nice and tidy everywhere. So first off we put in the uh, ATX power. This one and this big one here can be a little bit tricky, it's kind of tight here. There's two parts of it, so just clicked in there. Probably have to give it some more cable, so I'll be right back. So now I have given it a little bit more power, so power cord. So let's see if we can get it in there now. Should be fine. There we go, now it's in. Next step, it's power for your graphics cards. Or card. It's on this graphics card it's six plus six, so it's two cables. There, now almost everything is connected here. So next it's the CPU fan connector and it's going right down there. Behind the heat sink over here. Like that. Um and these two cables here are from the water cooling unit here and they're going into the, the heat sink here for the water pool.
And by the way, this is the Corsair H100 water cooling. So, now all cables are mounted and in the place where I want them to be. So, now it's time to put the hard drives in here. You have these where you put those in. So now we should mount the hard drives in these. So it's easy to take them out of your chassis and put them in back in again. You just stick one end into that one and you just press it over like that. So, there's one drive fixed already, too, f too close, <laughs> so, one drive, six to go. So all of these drives should be fitted into these two hard drive holders. So, let's start and put these in here. You just slide them in through the in here. You just slide them in like that with your connectors out, of course, so you can kind of hook them up later. So that's how you insert your hard drives into the hard drive base. So let's begin and put these hard drive bays in, into place. Let's see here. Just sliding them down like that. And there is one screw there and one screw from the front to secure them. There's one thing I have removed from my chassis and it's the solid stri state drive holder because where it sits you can put a fan and I'm gonna put the fan putting air to my graphics cards so the last step here to attach stuff to the motherboard is the overclock key cable so you should just put it through the hole in the bracket back there and then there is a connector down here where you connect it. There is actually one more cable here. It's the SLI cable. Which goes up there. So that's how you make a computer.